Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to the Coach's Desk with your host, Coach Minzy, and we'll be giving you an update on day one's activity of the World Under-20 Athletics Championship. Definitely, we'll be telling you what transpired with our Jamaican athletes. And of course, in the 4x400 meters relay, the uh, Caribbean team, we actually... Um, was a part of of of, of this event uh, we finished fourth in our eat in eat one and we qualified for the next round of the competition there now um over to the heats of the 100 meters for women and definitely we had uh five heats there and um jamaica we were in heat two yes with kerika hill um, she ran 11.65 seconds to finish second in that heat and qualify for the next round. Uh, one of the talked about athletes of this event is Beatrice Masilingi from Namibia. She clocked a new, yes, a new um, national record, 11.20. Yes, in the heats, she won that one. And uh, she moved on to the next uh, round. Um, our very own Tina Clayton, she clocked 11.50 to qualify there from that round, uh, moving into the semifinals. So it was a good um, showing from the Jamaican athletes in that event. And um, it's, it's good to know that the athletes came out. They did what they had to do in order to qualify. Now, on the men's side of things, I mean, it wasn't that um, um, smooth and dandy for the, 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 the male athletes in the 100 meters. Um, I think it has spilled over to the junior athletes because persons are saying that we are not, you know, doing so well. But um, one, Alik Cranston, 10.5, sorry, 10.45 seconds, he qualified um, from heat four uh in this uh competition heat six saw uh brian level 10.43 qualifying for from that uh round um heat six so definitely they these athletes would have uh, matriculated to the uh semi-final round of uh, the event and we're looking forward and incidentally people this was the 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 the, the morning session the first session four of the championships now uh when you look on the 400 um men and female 400 meters um heats uh let's look at the the female um annalee robinson she did not qualify from the first heat she ran uh in six, fifth position uh, running a time of 56.56 seconds that wasn't good enough to take her through to the next round uh onika makanoff 54.13 seconds easily qualified to the next round of the competition and uh, uh the nigerian yuko which should be uh the favorite in this event she ran 52.33 easily qualifying for that round um definitely we we, we, we see where the the, the, there's only one Jamaican who qualified from the 400 meters for women. Let's go over to the men's side of things. Jeremy Bembridge did not finish in each one of that event. We don't know um, if he's hurt or what transpired in that race, but he did not um, finish that race. And also Taj Ham, 47.73, that wasn't good enough to take him through two the uh, next round of the competition so all in all it was a mixed um day for the for the uh jamaicans in the sprinting events definitely um the morning session um proved to be a tough one for the jamaicans especially the men uh in the 400 meters now in the afternoon session the semi-final of the 100 meters for women um in heat one um, of course, you know that the first two qualify and the next two best time will make it to the final. And Tina Clayton, she came up with a time of 11.34 seconds, easily qualifying from Heat 1. And then uh, Beatrice Masalingi, 
she ran 11.35 qualifying to the final Kerika Hill of Jamaica was in that um, heat as well. She finished fourth with 11.60, but she finished because this heat was a fast one. She finished fourth. However, she was one of the fastest loser. And the other qualifiers would be um, Eva from Czech Republic and Priz from Nigeria, 11.5 seven seconds there so we have uh tina clayton going up in the, to the finals of this event she'll be going up against the trees this should be an intriguing one people this is one that um persons are looking out for um where that is concerned on the men's side of things um it didn't prove to be uh, uh very uh, good for us because ali cranston he he ran 10.94 seconds he didn't qualify to the finals um, of the event. Uh, Brian Lovell, he was disqualified um, for starting there in that event. So, I mean, no Jamaican representative in the finals of the men's 100 meters at the World Juniors at this time. We have uh, two ladies in the finals and we look forward to that uh, final event. All right, let's look at the four by uh, four by 400 meters mixed relay finals yes um jamaica actually it was won by nigeria in three minutes 19 seconds point seven zero which is a championship record um poland second 319.80 season best india was third with the bronze medal 320.60 season's best and jamaica just missed out on the bronze medal um, with the team of Shamir Yuta, Alia Baker, Alia Francis, and Malik Malakai Johnson. They ran a season best of 3 minutes 23.04 seconds. So that's how it ended on the first day of championship for the Jamaicans. We're looking forward to the 100 meters final for women, where we have Tina Clayton, Kerry Cahill. They'll be going up against Beatrice Masalingi, which should be a very, very, very interesting one, people. I can't wait to 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 see that event um, go down. Definitely, it should be an interesting one. Very, very interesting, people. Um, we definitely hope that um, Tina Clayton will come up chums in this one there. Definitely, we are looking forward um i missed out on the shot put where our men uh competed kobe lawrence 18.65 meters he qualified to the finals of the uh shot put for men so we're looking forward for his exploits in the final as well in that competition so thanks again um uh, people thanks for your time thanks for tuning into the show we definitely appreciate you and definitely we look forward to that 100 meter final, which we have Tina Clayton going up against Beatrice as well as Kerika Hill. Peace out.